Hi everyone! Welcome to another learning episode. Today, I'll be giving you some sample research titles for quantitative research. I know you have been messaging me to make a research video about this and right now, I'm finally doing it. Before I discuss each of the research titles, I just want to clarify to everyone that I am no way saying that I am a research expert. I did not have a major degree in research. However, I already finished my master's degree and I had few opportunities and chances to work on the different types of researches. The more we work on the different types of researches, the more we can gain knowledge and ideas along the way. So without further ado, let's start with the first sample research title I'm going to give you. The first one is for those who are taking ABM strand and those college students who are taking business courses, this research title is going to be for you. This is the impact of YouTube reviews on brand perceptions. We all know that we are in the middle of the pandemic and a lot of the brands rely on YouTube content creators or vloggers in terms of marketing or advertising their products, services, or their brands. This study is going to check the impact of YouTube reviews on the perception of the consumers in terms of the brand name. So how are we going to do it? The first thing that a researcher should do is to specify what brands is he or she going to study. So shall we say we'll just focus on the smartphone brands. You can either check two brands. For example, the most famous smartphone brands that we have here in the Philippines are Oppo and Vivo. Uh, after identifying the brand names the researcher wants to study on, that's the time he or she is going to search on the YouTube platform to check who are the vloggers who keep on posting YouTube reviews about these brands. After checking on the videos that review on these products, the Oppo and the Vivo, then that's the time the researcher would check on the number of views, the number of interactions on the comment section, the number of likes. Then the researcher will also survey the consumers. What are the reasons why they bought this Oppo cell phone or the Vivo one? Was it because he or she has seen a YouTube video that advertised their product or his or her favorite vlogger posted a photo with it? So on and so forth. Now let's proceed to the second sample research title, which is Emotional Quotient of the Nurses Assigned to Community-Based Hospitals and Provincial-Based Hospital. This quantitative research is designed to be a comparative research since the researcher is going to compare the results of the nurses assigned to community hospitals and the nurses assigned to provincial-based hospitals. These two set of respondents, the nurses who are assigned in a community-based hospital and the nurses who are assigned to a provincial-based hospital, might have differences in terms of the results of their emotional quotient because they have different working setup. The researcher could utilize two variables like sex or age in terms of looking into their emotional quotient. It might um, age might be an, a factor while they differ in terms of their level of emotional quotient or sex for example so the researcher could look into these different aspects now we have the third research title which is college students academic stress and coping mechanisms in the height of covid 19 pandemic now this is a very relevant research title since college students are experiencing it right now this is a quantitative correlational research since you have to check the relationship between these two entities. The first entity is the college student's academic stress and the second entity is the college student's coping mechanisms. So the researcher would look into the relationship of these two entities. The researcher needs to check if the one entity is affected by the other entity. So the researcher needs to make two separate research instruments for these two entities, first, the researcher would check the academic or the level of the academic stress of the college students. He or she would look into the internet if there are already standardized instruments that would gauge the academic stress of the students. And then second, he will prepare another set of questions for looking into the different coping mechanisms employed by our college students in enduring the academic stress that they are feeling right now. After preparing different set of instruments, that's the time the researcher would 
check the significant relationship of these two instruments. And now we'll proceed to the other title which is Job Satisfaction and Teacher's Level of Performance in Blended Learning Modality. In the Department of Education, there are schools who utilize blended learning modality. It's a combination of a synchronous and synchronous learning setup or combination of online learning and modular learning. This is also a quantitative correlational research because the researcher would like to check the relationship of these two entities. First, the job satisfaction of the teachers and then second, their level of performance. After that, it's the same thing. It says um, the researcher has to undergo the same process or the same method as well. He or she has to prepare two set of instruments. The first instrument is the one that gauge the level of job satisfactions of the teachers in terms of teaching in the blended learning modality. Then the second one is a research instrument that evaluates their level of performance. And then after that, the researcher needs to see the significant relationship between the two. Either it's directly proportional or the other way around. Now we have the fifth research title, which is the basic financial literacy among senior high school students. Now we all know that the Philippine country doesn't give so much emphasis on financial literacy program in our educational curriculum. Actually, we can only prepare one research instrument for that to gauge or evaluate how far is the knowledge of our senior high school students in terms of financial literacy. Again, in terms of making an instrument for gauging the basic financial literacy among senior high school students, you can divide it into different aspects in the instrument. First, we'll have the savings. You can put questions or statements there that ask if our students have knowledge on the particular banks here in the Philippines that give you high interest. Or do they know the importance of emergency fund? Then the, now, the second aspect naman talks about the investment. Do our senior high school students already know about stock markets, bonds, mutual funds, or any other investment vehicle? Then the third one, life insurance and health insurance. Do they know where to go in case they want to avail non-life or life insurance or health insurance, for example? Do, already, do they already know how to avail field health and other insurances here that are available in the Philippines? Then the fourth one is, in terms of retirement fund, do our senior high school students already have an idea about the purposes of SSS, GSIS, and other retirement fund vehicles? Because these things are very important. Now, these are quantitative research titles. On my next video, I'm going to be giving you some sample qualitative research titles that you can use for your grade 11 researches or your college research. I hope you have learned a thing or two from this discussion. Thank you everyone for watching this. Keep on learning!